Sliders, gimbals and jibs don't just look cool, but can also capture amazing shots. Sliders have a lot of advantages. A lot of sliders these days are very small and lightweight, which makes them a good choice for filmmakers who want to travel light. But that also means being limited in what can be captured due to the short length of the tracks. They are quite useful for horizontal tracking shots or push and pulls. Handheld gimbals are the new kind of Steadicam, stabilizing handheld shots while moving the camera around or while walking. Handheld gimbals are great all-around tools, but they also have their limitations. If the gimbal is held by someone, it only has a certain reach. For example, it cannot go up 3 meters and slowly move down to the floor unless the person holding it is actually 3 meters tall. One of the oldest pieces of gear in the world of filmmaking is the jib. The classic jib shot is the establishing shot in which the camera moves down from the sky to get closer to a certain scene or it moves up from the ground to reveal where a scene is taking place. How far a crane can actually move up or down depends on its length. The combination of the classic camera pan and vertical movement makes jibs so special and the results so unique. The speed of the movement is not limited and should be adjusted depending on the scene's mood and film genre. For example, the speed of the camera moving would be rather slow in a romantic scene or a dialogue scene while an action scene would probably have a faster jib movement or even a change of speed going from fast to slow or the other way around. Jibs can also be equipped with remote pan and tilt hats to compose a precise tracking shot. Just like cameras and sliders, jibs come in all kinds of sizes, but they are never small. Even the so-called mini-jibs are pretty big compared to sliders or gimbals, but they are also worth setting up to create an impressive establishing shot or a classic overhead shot. The thing with cranes and jibs is, the longer they are, the more dramatic will be the effect. Sliders are often used to capture slow-moving close-up shots or time-lapses, which are hard to get when using a gimbal. Gimbals are good for wide-angle walking shots and fast movement. For a small or even a one-man crew, a gimbal is probably the most versatile piece of gear right now because it can be used in many different ways. A jib, on the other hand, is certainly meant for bigger shoots that allow the crew to spend time setting it up properly and choreographing the movement. It's a tool that should only be used for a specific kind of shot and it's not needed all the time, but it can create a great experience for the audience if it is used in the right moment. 